Hi guys, it's France, week 67 of the Journal on Monday series. And for this first layer, I'm applying a bit of modeling paste over a Prima mask. I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do for this one. And I thought that getting a bit of texture on my page would help me get somewhere. For all the details about the product that I'm using, as usual, I'm referring to my blog where you'll find the complete list of ingredients. So after this first layer, I had to leave it to dry for a bit and that gave me some time to think about the next layer. The next layer is quite watery. So I'm first applying a bit of masking tape on the middle of my art channel to avoid having all the rest of the pages colorized in that same color and after applying a bit of water i'm going in with dilution inks these that i'm using are the crushed grapes and the calypso teal And I'm adding some more water to blend the colors even more. Now, once this is dry, I can go back in with the white linen dilution, which I absolutely love. And then drying it again. Now, I didn't like the color of uh, the masking tape anymore, so I decided to take it back off again. It had done its job so it could go. This is Paper Artsy Crackle Glaze. I'm applying it using a knife because your uh, layer should be quite thin actually and as it's a bit thick as a product it's not um, doable with a paintbrush. If you don't have a palette knife, you can do the same thing with a card, a credit card. And then going in with the second layer of um, Paper Artsy Fresco Finish, and this is the stone paint. Now I didn't leave my crackle glaze to dry enough and that will give me some trouble later on but it's okay i'll cover it up in the end i'm applying the fresco paint using a piece of cut and cut and dry but you could do the same with a cheap makeup sponge i first let it to air dry and then I forced the drying using my heat gun to speed it up a little. This video is about 9 minutes long and it took me 50 minutes to get it taped. Then using a baby wipe I'm going over the texture paste again and I'm taking away part of the fresco paint. So that the dilution colors can peek through again. Taking out a piece of sticky back canvas and as I don't want to clean everything I'm laying a piece of towel underneath. First some water and then meet Miss Clumsy trying to get some dilutions on my sticky back canvas and as you can see once it's wet it, it starts to curl all over but I wanted to colorize it before I cut it up into smaller pieces. So to dry it, I'm revealing partly I'm revealing a part of the sticky back so that I can put it down on my craft sheet and then go over it with a heat gun. And now that it's dry, I can cut it into pieces. To 
glue these down, I'm also using tacky glue because once the sticky bag has been this wet, the glue doesn't adhere enough to my taste. So I'm adding a bit of tacky glue to it. Figuring out how I want my puzzle to lay on my page and then sticking everything down. Going back in with a bit of dilutions to take pictures of this one, to take photos of this one. I really had a hard time because you, you can hardly see it, but there are two colors. Again, the crushed grapes and the calypso teal on the sticky back canvas. It all looks blue, which it wasn't at all. To blend the squares in the page a bit more, I'm going around with a wide uniball pen. This is a pigment pen, so it works on almost any surface. Out of my treasure box, where I keep all bits and pieces, I'm picking out these three. And this is um, just a tiny part of my brand new carousel stamp. If you're on my Facebook page or blog, you will have seen that I have three brand new Stampedic stamps coming out. So this is just a tiny piece of it. And this is a Tim Holtz rabbit that I made for a tag and then not used it. So I can use it now. And then a leftover from a tag from another uh, thing I made and I'm just attaching it to the side of my page because I like the, um, the way the colors work together. Just going around with a bit of black soot distress ink very lightly. I'm not even re-inking my blending tool and then adding some journaling to my page. I decided that was it, so I just added my date stamp and voila, I'm done. Hope you liked it. See you back next week. Ta-da!